he that winneth souls is wise. Now, the way to be truly wise is to have the wisdom that's from above. In other words, it's not that we're smart, it's not that we're clever, or that we're good judges of character, but that we are dependent on the Holy Spirit of God. There's a family of uh, Chinese believers in Grand Rapids. The boys were all saved, the father was not. They had a Chinese restaurant. One morning, the oldest boy was in helping his dad get ready for the day. He said, Dad, we're concerned about you. Your health's not good, and we're afraid for you. You're not ready to meet the Lord. A man whipped off his apron and said, That's it, I've had it. Went down to the lawyer, signed the business over to his sons, went and packed his bags. He said, I'm going to California and never coming back. Well, they were just horrified. Well, he went down, bought a ticket, and got on the plane, flew from Grand Rapids to Chicago, had to hang around there a bit, got on the plane to San Francisco. He had a window seat, and the man came in, businessman, sat down beside him. So the businessman introduced himself, where are you headed? San Francisco, business or pleasure? Oh, I'm moving there. Oh, I'm moving there. Oh. Do you have family there? No. Oh. Friends there? No. Wow, California's a lonely place. You don't have any family or friends there. You know, I have a friend. He goes with me everywhere I go. I, I wonder if I could introduce him to you. And said, are you a Christian? I said, yeah. He said, I give up. <laughs> so what, well, what did you say? He says, I give up. He said, I got boys at home. They're Christians. They've been praying for me. I give up. Got saved on the flight. Got to San Francisco. Turned around. Flew back home. Walked in. Told his boys. He just got saved. Why didn't God use his boys? Well, because God's God. And God's in the business of saving people. We shouldn't get so frantic. We should be faithful in our witness, but we shouldn't be frantic. People come to me and say, my son's just moved to New York. Well, God will be waiting for him. Won't he? Yeah. David said, the limiting speed in the universe, as far as I know, is light. And if I jumped on the first rays of the sun as they broke across the horizon and shot to the outermost part of the sea, when I arrived on this little neglected island out in the middle of the Pacific, I arrived there, and God says... Nice to see you, David. He'd be there, right? This is the beauty of it, that God has agents everywhere. And so even when I miss an opportunity and I kick myself for it, I could still be involved in the process, you know. I just say, Lord, I just missed that. It was a golden opportunity and I missed it. I'm sorry. But you've got other agents down the line here. I'm going to pray for them. The next Christians that cross that person's path, I'm going to pray for them, as Paul asked us to pray, that they might have boldness and wisdom to know just what to say. So I'm going to pray for them. I still have a hand in the process. And the sowers and the reapers will rejoice together someday. We all have our little part to play. And if we could just see how God is working and he's changing circumstances, bringing people right across our path, he that winneth souls is wise.